ladies and gentlemen, this is yours truly, Sam Sneak and the Dirty Old Men. We'd like to do a song here for you called The Two Old Maids. This particular song has been around as long as you have. And we always use it when we've got about 15 requests and only 10 minutes to do them in. You'll find all your favorites in it. Ready, boys? Two old maids laying in a bed. One turned over and the other one said, Well, I don't hurt anymore. <laughs> Nothing but a hound. You're drunk all the time. You ain't nothing but a hot dog. <laughs> Two old maids laying in a bed. One turned over and the other one said, I've got a tiger by the bed. I won't be much. <laughs> Did you hear the story about the two old maids who got on a drunk? They damn near killed him. <laughs> Did you hear the one about the old maids walking down the street, happened to pass by a barber shop? And one old maid thought she recognized her boyfriend sitting in the chair, so she stuck her head in the door and said, Bob Peters here? And the barber said, No, ma'am, we just give shaves and haircuts. <laughs> and the story about the one old maid who found the tramp under her bed? and her stomach was on the bum for the rest of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> Two old maids laid in a bed, one turned over to the other one said, Ooh, ee, ooh, ba, ah, ah, ding, dang, walla, walla, bing, bang, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ding, dang, walla, walla, ah, ah. <laughs> Two old maids laid in a bed, one turned over and the other one said, just remember cowboy. Speaking of cowboys, did you hear the story about the young lady that was a tourist down in Texas? She walked in this bar and here stood this boy about six foot four, 220 pounds. She walked up to him, she said, are you a real Texan? He said, yes, ma'am, down here in Texas, we just naturally grow them big, six foot four, 220 pounds. She said, you know, I'd just love to put my arms around your chest. He said, anything to oblige, ma'am, just go right ahead. So she put her arms around his chest and said, ooh, you've got the biggest chest? He said, yes, ma'am, down here in Texas, we just naturally grow them big, six foot four, 220 pounds. I'd just love to go out with you. So they went out. About an hour later in the motel room, the young Texan, he looked up the young lady. He says, ma'am, he says, are you sure you aren't from Texas, too? <laughs> Tell you about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees, the little white dog. <laughs> Two old maids laying in a bed, one turned over and the other one said, Did you hear the story about the two old maids sitting at the bar? And the bartender was mixing the drinks a little bit strong. And one old maid looked at the other and said, You know, if I have another one of these drinks, I'd feel it. And the other old maid said, if I had another one of these drinks, I wouldn't give a damn who fell <laughs> There's a lot of confusion going on. All of a sudden, one of the girls let out a scream. Help! Somebody geased me. The bartender being an educated man, he went over and he said, what's the matter, lady? She said, somebody geased me. He said, you mean goosed you. She said, no, I can tell when there's more than one finger in there. <laughs> I'm back in the saddle again. <laughs> Two old maids laying in a bed, one told over and the other one said. Did you hear the story about the two old maids that got caught in a haunted house? And this ghost was going around scaring the daylights out of everybody. They walked up to the first old maid, said, hocus pocus. Walked up to the second old maid, said, hocus pocus. Second old maid, she's just a little bit braver than her sister. 
She jumped up out of the bed and looked that ghost right straight in the eye and said, forget about that hocus. <laughs> Then there's the one about the old maids walking down the street. One thought she recognized her girlfriend across the street, punched her sister and said, say, isn't that Hortense over there? And the other one said, why, no, she looks perfectly relaxed to me. <laughs> Two old maids laid in a bed, one turned over and the other one said, it keeps right on the Laying in a bed, one rolled over and the other one said, Give me five minutes more. Oh, only five minutes more. <laughs> Two old maids laying in a bed, one rolled over and the other one said, I got the hungries for your dog and I'm awakening in your welfare. Laying in a bed, one rolled over and bed, one rolled over and the other one said. Hear the story about the two old maids that went on a diet. One was trying to diet and the other was dying to try it. <laughs> also about the old maid that went halfway to San Diego before she realized a 17-inch admiral is a TV set. <laughs> two old maids laying in a bed, one rolled over and the other one said. I'm in the nude for love. <laughs> Two old maids laying in a bed, one rolled over and the other one said, Put, 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 put your arms around me, honey, hold me tight. Cuddle up and huddle up with all your might. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hear about the absent-minded old maid that worked in the hospital? She made the patient without disturbing the bed. <laughs> also about the two old maids that were walking down the street and happened to pass a barber shop where the barber was inside giving a customer a beetle haircut. He was singeing the man's hair and one old maid looked at the other and she said, do you smell hair burning? And her sister said, why no, why? Do you think we're walking too fast? <laughs> I can't give you any love, baby. <laughs> Two old maids laying in a bed, one rolled over and the other one said. You know, the other night I was feeling pretty good and I picked this young lady up. We went out of town and was parking and I was talking to her and what have you. And all of a sudden a big flashlight hit me in the face and I looked up and there was this big law enforcement officer. <laughs> And he said, what are you doing in there? And I said, nothing, officer. He said, then you get out here and hold the flashlight and let me in there. <laughs> I took a good look and I said, oh, officer, I was just making love to my wife. He said, oh, I didn't know, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were making love to your wife. I said, I didn't either until you turned that flashlight on her. <laughs> Did you hear about the musician that was trying to get out of the insane asylum? And every month the doctor would come around and ask him the same question. Buddy, what are you gonna do when you get out of this hospital? He said, well, doc, because there's no women, and they don't give me nothing to drink, I'm so mad, he said, when I get out of here, I'm gonna break every window out of this damn place. <laughs> so the doctor naturally wrote rejected on the slip, and after about 12 of these examinations, even the nut began to wise up. So the next time the doc asked him for the umpteenth time, what are you gonna do when you get out of this place? He said, doc, first thing I'm gonna do is go downtown and buy me a car. And I'm gonna take in a drive-in movie. Then I'm gonna pick me up a good-looking girl, have a few drinks. The doctor says, boy, you're getting some sense. Then what are you gonna do? We're gonna park under a shade tree. Doc says, now you're getting some sense. Then what are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna reach over and give her a great big kiss. <laughs> Doc says, then what are you gonna do? Now it says, I'm gonna take my hand, reach up under her dress. Doc says, man, you got sense. Then what are you gonna do? He says, I'm gonna take off her panties. 
Doc says, you know what? He says, now you're getting some sense. Doc says, then what are you going to do? Nut says, I'm going to take the elastic out of her panties, make me a slingshot, come back and break every window out of this damn place. <laughs> Two old maids laying in a bed, one rolled over and the other one said, Welcome to my world. <laughs> Say, you know, we've had quite a few songs requested here tonight, and we don't know the tunes or the words to any of them, but we'll try and learn them. Here's a good one right up here on top. Get off the table, Mabel. The two dollars is for beer. <laughs> oh, I like this one better. Get back on the table, Mabel, and to hell with the beer. <laughs> Here's another one. Oh, this is a pretty one. I call my sugar candy because she makes my peanut brittle. <laughs> Say, now that I've got everybody's attention, I'd like to ask a little riddle. You fellas know the difference between a light sleeper and a hard sleeper? No, no, what's the difference? Nobody, nobody knows no. the difference. No. 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 Well, a light sleeper sleeps with the light on and a hard sleeper sleeps with a... Hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> oh, well, you got a one sex mind. All I was gonna say is... A hard sleeper sleeps with the window open, but this part. Right. <laughs> Two old maids laid in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, Yes, we have no bananas. We have no bananas. Gentlemen, and welcome to the Sam Sneak Show. I'd like yeah. to show you our new party game called The Two Old Maids. Now, the next time you have friends over for laughs, have them all sing the chorus, and then have the next person in line sing a verse or tell a story. Taken from our first party record, The Two Old Maids, here's part three and four. Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, Let me go, let me go. One rolled over and the other one said, Please release me, let me go. Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, Here's a story about the three old maids sitting at the bar, and the first old maid look, said, Look at that cute bartender over there. Ain't he the prettiest thing you've ever seen? I'd give six months of my life if I could spend just one night with him. The other old maid said, Oh, that's nothing. I went to show the other night, and I saw this Elvis Presley guy that wiggled and shake so much. She said, I'd give six months of my life if I could spend just one night with him. And the other old maid said, that's nothing. I was watching TV the other night, and I'd give the rest of my life if I could spend just one night with that guy on TV that sells tobacco that goes, hey, a little, little, sold to an American. <laughs> Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over, and the other one said, any time you're feeling lonely. Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over, and the other one said, you hear about old Tex was out riding the range and he saw this rattlesnake, so he pulled out his six shooter and was going to shoot his head off, and all of a sudden a snake started talking to him and said, Don't shoot me, and I'll grant you any three wishes you want. Actually, I'm a genie in disguise. But old Tex thought, Oh, heck, I'll go along with that. So he holstered the six gun and he says, You know, for my first wish, I'd like to have a beautiful profile just like Tyrone Power. So the genie says, Okay, and now for your number two wish, and old Tex. I'd like to have big, broad shoulders like Charles Atlas. And the genie says, all right. And probably for your third wish, you'd like to have a lot of money. And Tex says, heck no. I wouldn't know what to do with all that money. I, I'd kind of like to go along with my body. I, I'd like to have a build, kind of like my horse here. And the genie says, all right. Well, you never seen a cowboy ride so hard and so fast to get back to the bunkhouse. He came in on a cloud of dust. He jumped off the horse. He rushed into the bunkhouse and he looked in the mirror. And sure enough, he had a beautiful profile, just like Tyrone Power. So he jerked off his jacket, and sure enough, there he had big, broad shoulders like Charles Atlas. And then came the big moment. He pulled down his pants and got the surprise of his life. He said, oh, hell, I forgot I was riding on old Nellie. <laughs> 
about the two old maids sitting at the bar and one turned the other one and said if I'm not in bed by 10 o'clock I'm going home how, how about the old, the old maid who died and the epitaph read who says you can't take it with you or the sports minded old maid whose epitaph read born a virgin died a virgin no runs no hits no errors two old maids laying in bed one rolled over and the other one said if you love me half as much as I love you Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, Did you hear about the fellow who preached on the corner and every time somebody passed he would say, Hallelujah, brother, you want to go to heaven? And the guy would say, Yeah. And pretty soon another guy would come along and he'd say, Hallelujah, brother, you want to go to heaven? And the guy would say, Yeah. And he says, Well, then get over there and rejoice with your brother. Pretty soon this drunk staggered out of his favorite bar and the guy says, Do you want to go to heaven? And a drunk took a good look around and said, Hell no. And a preacher said, You mean to tell me that when you die you don't want to go to heaven? And drunk said, yeah, when I die, but I thought she was trying to get up a load to go now. Also about the drunk that staggered out of the bar and fell over a parking meter, so he picked himself up, reached in his pocket, pulled out a nickel and put it in the meter, went up to 60, and he said, oh my goodness, I lost 60 pounds. Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, how about the Indian chief that drank four cups of tea and the next day they found him dead in his teepee? Also about the Indian that didn't know heads from tails and you should have seen some of the crazy scalps he brought home. Did you hear about the Indian maid? who found more than one way to make a buck. Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, Take me back and try me one more time. Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, Say, did you fellas notice that the ladies' clothes get higher at the bottom and lower at the top? You know, I was out with a young lady the other night and her dress was cut so low that I had to look under the table to see what she was wearing. <laughs> Would you believe sneakers? How about the girl that brought a living bra and it bit her? You know, they got a new bazaar in the market. Now it's called a rawhide bra. It heads them up and moves them out. <laughs> or the doggy bra makes pointers out of setters. Did you hear about the guy that walked into a clothing store to ask the salesman for a pair of Sputnik pants for his girl? And a salesman said, Sputnik pants? I never heard of Sputnik pants. What are they? And he says, oh, they're for a girl who thinks her thing is out of this world. <laughs> Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, shame, shame on Lay that pistol down, babe, lay that pistol down. Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, I love you so much, it hurts me. Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, Did you hear about the old maid that went to see a psychiatrist? He told her to take off her clothes and lay down beside him. About a half hour later, he gets up and says, Now that takes care of my problem. Now what's yours? <laughs> Two old maids laying in bed. One rolled over and the other one said, Young lady went to her doctor for a checkup, and the doctor came out and said, Well, Mrs. Jones, I've got some wonderful news for you. And she says, My name is not Mrs. Jones, it's Miss Jones. And the doctor said, In that case, I got some terrible news for you. <laughs> Two old maids laying in bed. One rolled over and the other one said, It's such a... Pretty world today. Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over, and the other one said, Sunday being the day of rest, Dad was upstairs in his bedroom reading the funny paper. Ma was downstairs slaving over a hot stove, fixing breakfast. We were outside playing. Dad was reading the part about Daisy May in the funny paper, and it began to give him ideas. So he saw a pen and a paper laying on the dresser. So he reached up, jots down a little note to Mom, and puts it in the dog's collar, swats the dog on the uh, butt, and sends it downstairs. Mom down there slaving over the hot stove, sees the note, picks it up, and reads the note. The note said, uh, the pole is up, the tent is spread, the hell with breakfast, come back to bed. <laughs> well, she happened to think what day it was. She looks up at the calendar with a big red circle around it, and then she finds a pencil, scribbles a note on the back of his note, sends it back upstairs, and her note read, 
Pull down the pole, put the tent away, your ticket's no good, there's no circus today. <laughs> Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, Help! 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 Stamp out loneliness! Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, See, all you fellas know how porcupines make love? Very carefully. <laughs> Did you hear about the All-American Tomcat made 47 yards in one night? Also about the cow that got a divorce because she had got a bum steer. Also about the bee that broke his leg, he fell off his honey. But there were these three animals walked into this bar and ordered drinks for all of them. There was a skunk, a deer, and a giraffe. And the bartender says, all right, that'll cost you $1.98. Who's gonna pay for all this? The skunk said, I got a cent, but that isn't enough. The deer said, I had a buck on me last week, but I won't have any dough until spring. So the giraffe said, well, I guess in that case, the highballs are on me. <laughs> Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, all the time. Yes, darling, all the time. Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, hey, did you hear about the farmer who couldn't keep his hands off his wife, so he fired him? Also about the new secret survey that proves that 90% of all men that tried camels prefer women. <laughs> Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, I'm gonna love, 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 one more time. Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, Two old maids were driving down the road and they saw a rooster chasing a hen and the hen ran right out in the road and wham! And one old maid said, well, you look at that, death before dishonor. <laughs> also about the little red riding hood who was walking through the woods and a big bad wolf jumped out from behind a tree and said, I'm gonna eat you. And she said, eat, eat, eat. Can anyone ever think of sex? <laughs> Two old maids laying in bed, one rolled over and the other one said, yes, we have no but 